Hello, brothers and sisters of Christ. Thank God for answered prayers. I just wanted to make a quick video that God answered a prayer request. And, brothers and sisters of Christ, if you ever sit there and say, well, I'm not called a street witness. Um, I'm not uh, called, I don't feel like I'm called to stand up and actually preach the Word of God. You know, in a, in a video setting, but it's, it's not public, it's a video, uh, or in a public setting. Um, but I love God's Word, I do study God's Word, praise the Lord. Um, like I said, the things you can do for the Lord, brother, sister, Christ, is are you reading the Bible? Are you studying it? Are you watching good Bible studies? Passing on good Bible studies? Are you um, praying? Praying without ceasing. Okay, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Are you praying without uh, all the time? Pray without ceasing. Right? One of the things I pray for is, I told you part of this ministry, I, I didn't mean it to be like that, but part of this ministry, I say this ministry, but Paul's ministry. Not to go off on too much of a tangent. I've realized in my studies, there's no my ministry that man's ministry over there, or this man's ministry over there, that's what's dividing the body of Christ so much today, dividing it. It's Paul's ministry. Are you part of Paul's ministry? Paul was able to say my ministry because the gospel to the Gentiles that went out to the world, it's both, it's both for Gentiles and Jews, but remember in the Old Testament when Jesus was walking on the earth, physically, um, the gospel was only for the Jewish people. That was the gospel. That was the ministry. It was only for the Jewish people. Go not in the way of the Gentiles, he told the disciples as they went out to preach the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. When um, you had the Gentile woman come up, she was called a dog and said that salvation is of the Jews. What happened? Salvation went out to the world, and when salvation went out to the world, that's Paul's ministry. The gospel of Jesus Christ. His death, how he died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day. Repent first, then you believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. God manifests in the flesh. That's Paul's ministry. We all need to be part of Paul's ministry. Sorry for going off on a rabbit trail a little bit on that. We all need to be part of Paul's ministry, because if we're all part of Paul's ministry, we're united. If we all have our own ministries, this is my ministry, and that man can have his ministry over there, and this is my ministry. That's not Bible. That's not Bible, okay? Paul said my ministry because it was his ministry. God had revealed the gospel to us through Paul. He's the apostle to the Gentiles, okay? You can be part of Paul's ministry by simply reading your Bible and praying every day, okay? Be in there for the brethren, to be able to encourage the brethren through scriptures whenever the, the opportunity pre presents itself, brothers and Christ. But one thing about... Uh, me being a part of Paul's ministry, but me being able to do for the Lord, it kind of popped up when I had a brother in Christ ask for a Bible. There's a brother in Christ overseas that says, I can't get King James Bibles over here. I'd like to get a Bible. And I was like, okay. And I got a Bible, and I did my best to try to mail it to him, and it, it reached him, praise the Lord. Then I had someone else ask me, and then someone asked me again. And just recently I sent another Bible over to Belgium. Okay, these are brethren overseas to Belgium, and we all know what's going on in Europe, and we all know in the news what's going on with Ukraine and everything, and them being able to still receive mail, uh, it's, I think it's taken a little bit longer, and I think on their end, I didn't know this, but they have to pay something on their end. I mean, I paid the price on my end to send the package, but they have to pay something on their end to receive the package. Um, so... But the Lord's allowing me to send Bibles. And if you've been praying for me in the ministry, brothers and sisters of Christ, and you've been helping me when I say, please pray that these Bibles reach the brethren uh, safe, intact, uh, thank you for your prayers. The prayers are being answered. Brothers and sisters Christ, you can do this too. If a brother hits you up and God has blessed you with having a little bit of extra money on the side to buy some Bibles and mail it, because mailing, <laughs> when you're mailing overseas, it's not cheap. It cost me close to eight, 100 bucks to mail uh, two Bibles overseas um, at a time. And not to include the, the price of the Bibles. But that doesn't bother me because as long as God provides the funds, it's His money. I'm here to serve Him and I'm here to serve the brethren. And brothers and sisters Christ, I pray that's your attitude too. 
But brothers in Christ, our prayers are being answered. We're always trying to say, thank God for the unanswered prayers. Thank God for... How, when's the last time we've thanked God for the prayers that are answered? When's the last time, brothers in Christ? Are you thanking God? I, I pray. There's days that I pray, Lord, if it, please, if it gets sunny today, Lord, I, today, Lord, if it gets sunny, because it was raining all last night, and this morning I woke up to sun. I said, last night, I was telling them, tomorrow, if it gets sunny, I'd like to go picnicking. Take a little sandwich out. There's a place out by the mountains where I can sit there and I want to listen to. I'm on the book. Um, the preacher. Ecclesiastes. The, priest, the preacher. And I want to sit there and listen to it and I want to look at the mountainside. Just the mountains. You know, it's like mountain ranges. You just feel like you're on the top of the world. Um, but if it's pouring down rain, I can't do it. But there's days where it stays pouring down rain. But then there's days that where it just, the rain disappears for the day. Yesterday I got to walk on the beach, praise the Lord. I prayed the day before, said if it gets sunny tomorrow, maybe we can go into town and do some grocery shopping, and maybe we get to walk on the beach a little bit, Lord. That'd be great. And I said that in a prayer. And then yesterday it was sunny. It was still cold. <laughs> it's still cold, but it was sunny. It wasn't raining, and I praised God for it. Brothers and Christ, when's the last time you praised God for the answered prayers? Or have you gotten too focused on the unanswered prayers? Just something to think about. So a ministry update, okay. I, I'm still trying to get Bibles to people who want Bibles. Brethren that want Bibles in other countries, uh, brothers and sisters Christ, that can't afford a good a good Bible, a leather Bible, um, you know, email this ministry. I keep throwing it out there. Email this ministry, okay. I, I'm so grateful to serve my brothers and sisters in Christ in any way that I can. Any way that I can, as long as it lines up with the book. And any way that I can financially. Uh, physically, I, I love serving my brothers and sisters in Christ and helping you guys out in any way I can. Uh, pass it on. I'm trying to pass that on to you. Have that attitude. In these last days, that's desperately needed. It seems like today everyone is, when push comes to shove, everyone's every man for himself. And that's not how we're supposed to be as brethren. So, uh, I love you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Keep praying for this, for me in ministry. And when the Bibles go out, um, you know, for and pray for me for that my I use the right words that can reach people and not be too confusing. Uh, but you know, help pray for me, brothers of Christ. Please pray for me, and I'm praying for you. Okay? please pray for these Bibles that they reach their destination and they get used a lot. Okay, that's the good thing. I can send Bibles out all over the world. I can send Bibles all over the United States. I can I've handed out Bibles to lost people. But the more important prayer is not that, that the Bible gets to these people intact, but also that it gets used. They actually read them and use them, brothers and sisters Christ. So I'll end this quick video with uh, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Keep praying for me, brothers and sisters Christ, and this me being in ministry. And I will keep praying for you, brothers and sisters Christ.